Three, two, one, go. What's up guys, welcome. So we're back, as you can see, I put a lot of stuff in, still have a lot to do. I have some floating, muffin, floating muffins over here, but um, doing a lot better. Ram is doing a lot better. And of course, no floating, no floating issues. Uh, the jar is fine, it moves around just fine now. So essentially the problem was the UVs. There was something about the UVs. Maybe I had too many UVs. I don't know, but I deleted all of them. So there's no more of the little red dots or whatever they are. No more UVs. There's probably a few things that are UVs, but um, for the most part, I got rid of them and things have been going much, much better. So something to keep in mind. I appreciate your guys' comments too. I appreciate that. I do check them. Uh, as you can see, I've been filming and filming and filmings, but I did look at them, but even though I didn't respond yet. I'm terrible with responding on YouTube. But, uh, but yeah. Oh, and also, yes, I will be saving everything as Nomad files. Uh, I went back, I had to go back and save some of the same things, like the flan I had an issue with. So I went back and saved it as Nomad, and I also deleted the UVs. So now it's like, you know, it's just very simple. But uh, things are looking okay. Things are looking okay. So I'm just going to add some more, probably figure out some more furniture, a little foreground, maybe add some lights under here. Not actual lights, but uh additive lights and maybe some lights under here and um a few other places so i'll check back in when i when i get those I do have to add a tube now, so um, I could probably do the tube the same way. So let's go ahead and do that. It's probably a much faster way to do this, but it's fun. I'm enjoying my time. And that's all you can ask for. So I, th I, th I think it, um, I think it made the, the base an additive as well, I guess. I don't really know what's happening. I mean, I don't, I'm not, I don't really mind it, but I would have liked the bases to be black, but I feel like they're all connected. Yeah, they're connected. So I'm going to see if I can. Separate them. Okay. 
I think that looks nice. Let's save this. All right, so I'm gonna work in some of the lights and then I'll, I'll check back in in a bit. But I think these look cool. So I do really enjoy doing the additive light thing, but I find that sometimes a, it does all this. Like sometimes it won't light up at all. Sometimes you have all these artifacts. I'm not sure what causes that and why it won't just be just flat and lit. I'm not sure what that is. So here is the additive. So I'm gonna clone the exact one. So this is the exact same thing that I just cloned and now I'll turn it into an additive, always unlit. Now it works perfectly. Okay, never mind. Well, hopefully it stays that way. Okay, crisis averted. It happens all the time. I don't know what's up with that. All right, this is super exciting. How to make a spoon. I know you guys are all excited about this. It's big. This might even be cute as a uh, as a decoration on the wall, actually. And that's how you do a spoon and bring it into another scene. You can do a bunch of stuff and save them and bring them bring them to other scenes. Just make sure you decimate so your file sizes stay nice and low. You know, I like a nice moody scene. So I just made the tutorial of the little spoon, and I don't think I'm going to put it on the wall. I think I'll put it here. It's very dark in here though. Maybe I should, uh, oh, I don't know what I should do. Let's bring this back to one, that's for sure. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy that like iPads are computers. They don't really feel like computers, but like they are. Like what else would they be? Phones are computers. It's weird. So I think I want to stick this in here. Why not? I mostly wanted to do the com do the tutorial because I, I think it's oh you know what I didn't even put um. I didn't make this. I didn't make these mugs completely hollow. But I mean that's okay because I can I can put a oh, this is the spoon spoon in mug so let's go to the mug. Oh, wait a minute, this mug is 335k? What? This thing needs to be decimated, bruh. I wonder if I forgot to decimate the other ones. Oop. 
654 is good. It's much better. Uh, you know what? We'll do we'll do 1,000. We'll make it a little a little prettier. So let's do a plane. And I think you can do bring this all the way down to full. Now that's my kind of that's my kind of poly right there. Boost up this reflectance, and we're going to put this... Oh, you know what? There's another thing you can do, isn't there? Disc. Oh, I guess it doesn't work with... <laughs> I guess it doesn't work with uh, such a low number. What do I have to do to make that work? Oh. Okay. I can, I can, I can handle 25. I'll take it. Let's go, love. You can do it. We'll just stick you right in here. There we go, like so. Beautiful. Validate that. And we'll name this coffee. I wonder if I did it. Oh, I didn't. That's why. That's why my scene is crazy. All right, so I'm going to decimate this and keep doing some more stuff. All right, so I want to make a sign. I'm going to try to use ice cream. I'm going to try to keep it low poly, get a nice glow. We'll see what happens. But I saved this. So now I just want to put it on here and suck it out. Alpha, we might be getting closer. Photos. So I did sweets and ice cream, but I think I, I think ice cream is better. Okay, so let's do flat. Grab dynamic radius, turn symmetry off. And it would be nice if I can lock the rotation. Yes. Extract it. Now I'll clear the mask. And now I'm going to trim. But I wonder if I should have voxel remesh this first. Let me save. So I'll voxel remesh that first, and then I'll trim. Oh, heavens. Oh good, the voxel remesh got rid of that, that's good. I'll voxel remesh again for good measure. And this is only, it's not that, it's not that crazy right now. So let's, ooh, let's just do round all brush. Okay, still looks okay. You can read it, that's all I'm concerned about. Hopefully this is, Hopefully I can decimate it now. That's the main thing. Please excuse my heater. But my feet are quite cold. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about that. And do we want it like coming off or do we want it all? I think we want it all on the sign like this. I might want like a ring around it. So I think I'm, if, I, if I'm gonna do that, I would just clone the sign and make it bigger. And I'd have to make this one a little bit bigger and maybe like put it behind it. Oh, this is freaking solo. But 
for now I might want to I might want to light it up so I'm gonna leave it like that and then I'm gonna clone this and this can be sign lit add an ice cream I'll clone that I'm gonna give you guys the real the real look oh, I think it looks great I might have to move those ice creams up, I think. Cause I because this looks this would look really good here. Above this. I think that looks good there. So these ice creams I'll have to move up. So I'm gonna rearrange some of this stuff and I will be back. So of course I decided to make another little fridge actually looks quite big right now. Oh no, where are my strawberry things? Do I have to squeeze this? So I'm gonna finish working this out and see if it even fits there. It's a little tight, but I like it. I spend a lot of time making it, so maybe I'll squeeze it in. All right, guys, this is it. It's 4 a.m. and I think I'm gonna call it quits. With this, I'm very happy with it. Uh, I might add a few more things, but um, I think I'm, I'm going to call this one done. So I'm just going to walk you through it, show you what's going on. Now, I probably will have to adjust before I do my renders. I'll have to adjust uh, the lights and things like that. But for now... Here is everything. This is the little fridge I made that I brought in. Two little cushions, got some little cups, got the flan, got the stools here, little coffee. And yeah, there's random ice cream places, but you know, it is what it is. And you have the little dish holder and dryer down there. <laughs> Don't ask, I have no idea how I come up with some of this stuff. Then you have the little fridge cabinet with all the little cakes. You have the little, this stuff, this looks like soft serve, this looks like sorbet. And then you have the little melting ice cream statues. So I do have to put some stuff in these bowls too. I just never got around to that. Got some little chocolates, little bar jar of candy. Little gingerbread man. Then you have all these things over here, kind of decorative. But I had a lot of fun with this. And even though I had a even though I had some problems, mostly I had I had fun. So let me save this view. This is a nice view of our little ice cream parlor. I want to get both ends in. So something like that. So I might as well just save the view now. Okay. So let's take a look at it with no lights so this is no lights very dark and let's try one light so this light kind of doesn't make sense because it's I don't even know where it is in the grand scheme of things but that's all right So this is after closing time. This is just the light coming through the mirror or coming through the window. Uh, I do like to have a, a bluish light and then a warm light. So I made the inside warm and I made the light from the outside cool. Let's see what it looks like. So this is the light. This will be like the overhead light coming down. I also might want to put like a rug and do maybe do like a pattern so it's like a soft rug just right in the middle i feel like it's a little empty 
So here's with the blue and the, the, uh, the cool and the warm, which I think looks pretty good. Yeah, so I think it looks, um, I'm very happy with it. Let's check out these other views. Cool. Well, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I'm going to try and export a quick frame of this, and that will be that will be that. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. This one was fun. Let me know what you think in the comments. Ah. Uh -huh.